cruising there with the first two outs in the eighth, then what happened? Well, they got about a 19 hopper, seeing eye single through the hole there. You know, we're playing on the line to guard against a double, and I don't know if normal positioning you would have made it to the play or not, but, um, you know, last night we gave up a double on a ball down the line that, you know, we just, you know, we didn't, weren't able to knock down, and I wanted to make sure we didn't give up a double with two outs there and get a guy in scoring position, but like I said, I don't know if he could have made the play or not. And then the next kid loops one in. It barely bent the grass when it hit the ground. It was hit so softly. And then, you know, Kendall's one of the best players in the country. He's one of the best players in the league. And you, you tip your hat to him. We, we got him with two strikes. And I'd have to look at the replay of the pitch. I, I was hoping he'd throw it about ankle high. I know he didn't get it there. I don't know if it was a terrible pitch. And the kid goes out on one foot. And it seemed like he hit it with one hand and golfs it out of here. So, you know, their player beat our player at that particular moment. It wasn't a terrible pitch, and you got to tip your hat to him. Earlier in the game, we, you know, we we had two times where we had a runner at third base with two outs, and you know we line drive from second base and makes a diving play. Then later on, Reed hits a line drive, the shortstop leaps and catches it. I mean, we're inches away from a couple of more runs. We let one other run at third base with less than two outs, you know, get away from us that we weren't able to capitalize on, and those things all add up, you know. It just you know, yesterday we were able to close the game out. Today we weren't, and because of that, well, today we go home with a loss. Did you, uh, you feel like? Did you feel like John ever got comfortable today? He's been so comfortable most of the SEC play. Yeah, John. John wasn't real sharp today. You know, he. Um, I mean, he's going to give up some hits, and he gave up a few hits. That wasn't the concern of mine. The concern of mine was when he walked the shortstop who's playing for the first time, and he walks him on four pitches. And that tells me he just doesn't have confidence in his command. It's not necessarily confidence, but it's just his command wasn't there. And that's when I thought it, maybe it wasn't going to be a very long outing for him. I thought Doug Norman came in and gave us two beautiful innings. Uh, you know, that's usually his limit. But the kid cruised to two, and you know, I just thought, you know, he's hot. Why not let him stay in there? And uh, even though I, you know, I, I, my plan was to go to Bug in the seventh inning, but. Norman was cruising so well, and you know, Bug, Bug sometimes has trouble with left-handers, and they had a lot of left-handers in their lineup, and you know, the, unfortunately, you know, the, you know, guys got a couple of hits there off Norman, and before you know it, I'm bringing in Bug to face Reynolds, and you know, he almost hit a three-run homer himself, but you know, we got out of it still with the lead, and um, you know, then I just felt that Caleb was our guy, you know, and he hadn't pitched in the series yet. He needed to get us six outs, got us the first two easily, and they couldn't get the third one there. So that's the way it goes sometimes. Earlier in the week, 